In today's fossil preparation video, we're going to be preparing one of our best ammonite fossils to date. This is one that we found whilst we're on a fossil hunt, me, my dad, and my brother Shay. It's a really large Lytoceros ammonite. We found a few of this species in the past. However, this one is ginormous compared to all the previous. It's also incredible quality, as you'll soon see as we go and prepare the fossil throughout the video. We've got a few clips of it before we've prepared it. We've got quite a bit of footage of preparing it itself. And then we'll see the finished ammonite as well at the end of the video. Let's start by having a look at the ammonite before we did any preparation to it whatsoever. Here you can see the first part has been revealed of the Lytoceros ammonite. A lot more rock still to be taken off though. That's the outer world. Should continue into the shale a little bit. And then the fossil should coil around. Be preserved in here. It's quite a nice big thick nodule over the top of it. The first thing that we started to do was glue the ammonite back together. When we'd found it, it was in around three pieces, including pieces of shale which also needed to attach on. Once we'd got it all glued back together, we could start with the preparation. Because some of the shale was cracked when we found it, there was a few gaps as well. Quite a little bit of restoration work to be done. But now that it's all glued together, we can actually start preparing it. The first thing to do is remove the bulk of the limestone. There's a mix of limestone and shale around the ammonite. You can see here this softer matrix is almost all just shale. But there is also a tough limestone nodule, particularly over the centre of the ammonite. As we go through the video, you'll see we use a variety of tools to start to expose the fossil. This here is one of the air pneumatic tools. It's very good for removing bulk amounts of rock. Now that a lot of it was removed, you can actually start to reveal the outer part of the ammonite. We're starting with the biggest part of the fossil and then working our way towards the center of it. Up to now there's already quite a few hours work gone into it. See there piece by piece removing the rock away from the shell of the outermost world. It's very satisfying seeing all the rock come off quite quickly really is very soft shale over this part of the fossil. Some of the rock removes to reveal the shell perfectly and in other cases some of the rock is removed and it leaves a thin layer of rock still over the fossil. So we do the best we can to just remove as much as possible, ready for doing all the fine work later on. You can see here it's so, so soft. A lot of the matrix is actually quite rotten. It's not usually this easy to come off, at least for specimens from this area. Now that the outer wall is almost all exposed, we can start to reveal the inner walls. These are a lot more challenging to expose. We've got a very tough limestone nodule protecting them. As you can see, we've now had the fossil glued back together. It was in a couple of pieces to begin with. And my dad has started thinning out the majority of the matrix that was covering the fossil. Now that we've removed quite a lot of it, we need to still continue removing more and more rock. The closer to the fossil itself that we get, the finer and finer the preparation becomes. Removing tiny little bits of rock at a time and exposing different details. We'll use a variety of tools to remove the rest of the rock including air abrasives and the pneumatic tools. Let's continue seeing the ammonite get prepared. After spending quite a few more hours on the preparation, we're now at the stage where we can start using air abrasives to remove 
the finest details of the fossil. You can see here we've stabilised the back of the specimen. This is to keep it held together and protected over time. The fossil still looks quite rough at this stage. That's because there's a lot more work to be done. However, you can get the rough idea of what the fossil looks like. You can very nicely see the outline of all of the worlds. Something that surprised us with this fossil was that it was actually all preserved towards the very centre of the specimen. Such a large fossil being preserved completely to the centre is very unusual. It was such a nice surprise. few more hours invested into the fossil and we still have more air abrasive work to go. You can see now the fossil is really starting to shape up. But we're not done yet. Here my dad uses an air abrasive tool to remove very very tiny precise pieces of limestone and shale one little piece at a time it's a very time consuming process this fossil took several weeks to prepare spending a few hours each day however as you can see the results are certainly looking to be worth it in just a couple of minutes we'll be seeing the finished result the fossil now is getting closer and closer to being finished. I'm not going to film the very final details because it's a very long time consuming process. So the next part of the video, I'm going to be showing you the finished ammonite fossil itself. Let's have a look at it. I've got a few photos to begin with, showing close-ups of the outer worlds. We also have a nice amount of video footage to show you the fossil overall. Seeing the fossil finish like this really makes you realise just how much work goes into a fossil start to finish and how worth it it is to actually spend that time getting it to this stage. And here it is, the finished large Lytoceros ammonite. I think this fossil surprised all of us at just how well it turned out. From finding it in several pieces, not thinking for a second that it would be the complete ammonite there, never mind preserved all to the centre. The ammonite has turned out to be, personally, one of the favourite ammonites in our collection. I think my dad has done an absolutely incredible job preparing this fossil, as he does with all of our fossils. Really is a work of art and requires a lot of dedication to prepare a fossil to this standard. It takes a lot of time. And there we have it, had a look at the full preparation process. Quite a bit of footage there that I didn't end up recording. The entire preparation process took many, many hours over a period of weeks. Here's just a short video today which showed the overall process. Hope you like the fossil as much as we do. It's definitely one of our favourites and I think it's personally one of the best ammonites in our collection. Hopefully we find something else similar. Thanks for watching, 
and we'll see you in the next video. Because these videos are filmed over several weeks, they do take a long time to put together. If you'd like to see some more like this, please just let me know in the comments and we can certainly consider doing some more in the future. Thanks for watching, see you soon.